So it like bulldoze over like 300 acres of land. And then like it fucking exploded right after that. It was crazy. <laughs> Sorry. And that's where my mortgage went. Oh my gosh. Sorry. There's always going to be like an awkward pause. I have nothing to say after that. Like, I, I tried uh, to have something to say. I, I, I yeah. tried to say, yeah. like, think of something, but there's just nothing. Oh, I can yeah. say that these M&Ms are really good. <laughs> these M&Ms oh, are yeah. Oh. Anyways, that, that ties into our topic. Uh, oh, what does. is What is an M&M? What is M&M? A, um, what should we call an it? An acronym. For? An acronym. For yeah, we're talking about... What does M&M stand for, actually? I don't um, even know. Milk... <laughs> And more milk, milk. milk. <laughs> and milk chocolate, uh, milk and me. <laughs> uh, well, I'm gonna do some research here real quick. Yeah, I gotta do the research. Yeah, <laughs> time to crack open my googling skills. Yes, the pro the pro uh, like hacker. Skills. It stands for Mars and Marie. Are those oh, names. Okay. Um. Is that the name of the red M M&M and M and the yellow M M&M? and M? Mars and Marie. I think. I guess it's apparently the two people that it that like created. Mars and Marie, and then the company was so, bought wait, more so. fully by Mars, and they just became Mars Candy. Oh, wait, gotcha. so so M and M's are a Mars bar spinoff? No, M and M's are made by the Mars company. Not a, it's it. not a Mars bars, but it's it's from the yeah. same company as the Mars. Yeah, so, on the bag so here, like, Mars Incorporated. So it's like uh, Sprite and Coke. Yeah. Right? What? Uh, are they from Mars? Is Sprite a Coke product? <laughs> it is. Are they from yeah, the yeah, planet yeah, yeah. Mars? That's the real question we're asking ourselves here. Is what? Are is it from the planet Mars? You know. I mean, is, like the company. There is an orange M M&M, and M, so that one's I got think it's up for debate. The pro- the pretzels, what? What? Yeah, the orange M Ms associated with pretzel M Ms. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. They made fit yes. a whole pretzel inside an M M&M. M. That's impressive. The, the planet Mars is actually known for their pretzel stands. Oh, so they always they always put pretzels in orange candy. I see. It's it's just common knowledge. So is anything orange from Mars then? Uh, the what? It's complicated. Like, it depends on your perspective on life. <laughs> My perspective says no. But maybe Riley's perspective says yes. If anything... Where does the color orange come from? Where does the color orange come from? If it doesn't come from... If we're not like exporting orange from Mars, where do we even get the orange? Like, no, no, the pretzels the orange, come from Mars. We import the orange. From Neptune, like, come on. The orange comes from your soul. Jeez. Wait, where, what were you no, saying about the Neptune? Deep blackness. What? Oh, well, Neptune? how do you ex- how do you explain your orange hair then, Max? Hmm? If not your own soul, then where? Yeah, he's got you there. Uh he doesn't actually. I I thought. It, how, how can you possibly mess up gingers not having souls? That's like. <laughs> step, it's like step one of being alive. No, no, no. Your your soul's gone because of the orange hair. You know. Yeah, your soul went into your hair. That's why it's orange. Mm. That's why I should never. I haven't cut my hair. For like, <laughs> I think almost a year now. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I got I got mine cut over winter break. You, you see, know, I was so close to getting it cut over winter break, but no. I absolutely finessed my way out of getting, having it happen. <laughs> Now, back to you bringing up souls being, like, black, empty voids. See, that's why my hair is black, is because my hair doesn't have my soul in it. Hmm. You see? Hmm. That's how hair works. Hair colors work. Wait, wait, Every wait. time you get your hair cut, you just die inside. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> that's so true. Your perfect yeah, yeah, hair man. ruined. Especially no, if they, like, botched the haircut. <laughs> how do you think bald people feel about it uh, like, do you th- that's, is that why they're so angry all the time <laughs> maybe it's, uh, maybe. Uh, there's, no, maybe some bald people are happy Like if you point out their bald hair ask King Neptune from Spongebob about his baldness <laughs> <Bobby>. <laughs> <And> thinning <laughs> well actually 
King Neptune's a redhead. So that here's his right. soul. He has every reason oh, yeah, to be upset. Oh my gosh, you're right. Mm. No wonder he's so angry all the time. Oh man. <laughs> he swirls the water around because he, he just he wishes he had hair to swirl in the water. <laughs> <laughs> but he doesn't, so he's just pissed constantly. Yeah. Oh, classic that King is... Neptune. Uh, classic not Poseidon. <laughs> you know it. Hey, hey, random, um, completely off topic, just because I literally scrolled past a thumbnail on YouTube that reminded me of it. Do you guys know there's a sniper rifle bullet that was being designed by the military that can literally, like, change its direction midair? Oh. So you could just, like, like, they'd shoot it, and it would, like, go over a hill, and then, like, curve down and to the side and hit the target. No. Like, they just you- tell it, I want to target this, and then they'd fire and go, like, pew, and it would go hit it. Oh my gosh. When you said scrolling past YouTube thumbnails, you instantly made me remember something which I was hoping I would forget. <laughs> like, like I don't remember what the video was called. I didn't watch it. I only saw the title in the thumbnail. And the first thing I saw was the title. And it was something along the lines of, like, stupid things which people did. And I look at the thumbnail. And it's like a before and after image of, like, a girl holding like nail clippers up to her tooth and the after image was the tooth like cut in half and oh yeah and then they bite sentence. into ice cream i didn't see that video i haven't seen that. i've seen the image though i don't it's know what cool. you're talking about and i didn't see the ice cream part of the image yeah they cut it's the tough. tooth open and then they bite into some ice cream with it that sounds awful yeah why would you cut the tooth i don't know you know what? I it see things like that make me question like the humanity as a race. <laughs> like, what the heck are we doing? <laughs> We're cutting our own teeth and like thinking, <laughs> oh, this is going to be a great video. <laughs> I did it. I literally destroyed a permanent part of my body. Oh, you cut your tooth as well. A lot of people <laughs> will do will go to great lengths for that YouTube clout, man. Oh man, I don't even have to try. Like. The thumbnail I made apparently was super great that I keep getting people to click on the video. I didn't mean to do it this way, but I think just a lot of people think it's the anime for uh, for my Pokemon Sword Let's Play. I've got over like 200 views on it now. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, dang. I know. What was the watch time on that? Bro? Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> I think... They the- saw it wasn't the anime like, boo! Ooh, clickbait clickbait no, it's, it's not even that like i'm so confused like at, at like half the things on my my youtube because i get some random languages appear i think it's hindu uh i have no clue i don't run that shit through google translate well, I, I did that for one of them and it did translate clearly to say like verify something and i had what i what am i verifying you're the one they typed that in the comments in a different language I'd have to go look at it again, but it's it was weird. You're weird. You're a weird guy. <laughs> yeah, I think the I think the average watch I'm time weed. is like now you're weed. <laughs> is that huh? is that just what what was that? That's just a that? voice. It's like I'm now oh, weed. No weed. I thought that was from something. <laughs> No, I thought, no, 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 I have no idea. I almost thought that was a Travis impersonation. No. No, that you, you've spoken up the forbidden name on this I'm podcast. Eating, um, um, You're eating M&M's? Is that what you said? No, yeah, they're really good. Ah. Uh, I also learned that the rapper M&M, I always thought spelled his name the same as the candy. I was completely wrong. Wait, it's not spelled like a candy? No. No, no, <laughs> it's, um... <laughs> It's um E M E N E M. Huh. That's yeah. one way to avoid copyright, I suppose. <laughs> well, who came first? The rapper M&M? or the candy? The M and M, thanks. That's which which came first, M and M or M and M? I think M and M did. Obviously, the candy had to have come first. Like that shit's been going Probably. since the fifties. At least, but maybe it's a a rapper name passed down through the generations. <laughs> Riley, rap rap wasn't even a thing before just, like the seventies. Just imagine the classical 80s. rap. 
no such thing exists. Oh man, oh. that'd be an you interesting. Think yeah, you think Beethoven? You think Beethoven was instruction? <laughs> you think Beethoven was instructing rap back in like <laughs> Victorian <laughs> England or whatever era he's from? Just the the people are rapping to the musical uh, classical <laughs> music. <laughs> Oh man, somebody's got to do that. That needs to happen. Somebody rapping to the can can dance. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Da, da, da. Yo, listen up. This is <laughs> good attempt. I good attempt. I can't. I can't freestyle. Uh, yeah, I I can't either. I'm I'm uh, really bad. Ah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you hop and see I can talk. Oh, man. Yeah, it's been it's been a week, that's for sure. Yeah, uh, I have one interesting story from this from earlier yes. this week. Do tell. Uh, it was probably one of the stupidest things I've ever done. Uh, is this counting your uh, riding a bicycle at night and then like falling off a ledge? Uh, that one was like. <laughs> only really partially my fault. Yeah, they, they didn't like, put up like, any signs. It was it was my fault for go for deciding to go on a different route than usual. But at the same time, it was dark, and oh. like it's not my fault. The college campus is structured in a stupid way, <laughs> which makes no sense. Yeah, most campuses are. But but no, this one is one hundred percent my fault. Oh, okay, I see. I guess so. Basically, like, like it was like around midnight ish, I think. And I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of, kind of hungry. I'm gonna grab some, uh, some of these chicken patties in my freezer. I'm gonna put them in the oven. So I did that. Okay. And I went back to my room, laid on my bed, started watching some YouTube. And then, like, I passed out. <laughs> oh no! Oh. I woke up like. Three hours later, and your and chicken like, patties tasted great. No, let me finish, Riley. Okay. Oh, okay. And I just keep watching YouTube, and I'm like, no, no, absolutely nothing is wrong. And then, like at this point, I completely forgot about the chicken patties. Oh, so man. like, like eventually, I'm starting to like get this funky smell. I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> is there a weird smell or is my nose like fucking with me and then like like god damn what is that smell and then like once the gears started turning a bit and you know <laughs> things start I, started then, to wake I began up. connecting some pieces I'm like oh shit that's my chicken patties <laughs> So I run straight to the bathroom the smell intensifies the bathroom? I open up the I mean, the kitchen. I have to move past the bathroom to get to the oh. kitchen. So technically, I did go to the go past the bathroom. Oh. But, but no, like, I opened up the oven. Thankfully, no fires were started. But like, instead of um, chicken patties, I saw three very coarse looking hockey pucks right hmm. there. <laughs> so did you make charcoal? So like, out of chicken? Yeah, yeah, I made charcoal. That's what I made. <laughs> you made some charcoal chicken. So Extra what crispy. I did then was I put on my oven mitts, grabbed the fucking pumice bricks that I created, <laughs> and then threw those in the trash outside. Oh man! And then I walk back inside. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm still hungry. <laughs> it smells like no, no. That was the last thing on my mind. I'm like, well. It still smells like burning in here, so I'm gonna need to find a way to like try to vent like all this like. Gotta open a window in winter. <laughs> nah, nah, I couldn't open any windows. I just turned on some fans, oh. and th that did the trick after a while. Yeah, that will definitely like, it, air it out dissipated on its own. I also sprayed some Febreze to hopefully try to <laughs> oh. uh, alleviate it that way. Uh, Febreze isn't gonna really help if you have the fans on. It's it just covers up the smell, and then if if you start mixing up the like the fans gonna get rid of the Febreze. If that makes sense. 
Like, I'm not asking your advice for a moment that's already passed. I'm just saying okay. for future reference. And I'm just saying that I don't <laughs> intend on making that mistake again. You only make the mistake of almost burning down your house one time. I mean, you only burn down the same house once. <laughs> that is, yeah. true. is true. Unless it's multiple tiny fires. Oh my, that just reminds me of like all of last year, people in like freshman year in college, super great. Everybody is intelligent and smart, but they're, Are they? com no, they're complete Problem. idiots. My whole, the, the dorm I was at, we had at least, at least like 30 fire alarms, like go off throughout the semester. Like, um, I'm afraid I'm going to have to one up you there. The one <laughs> fire alarm that exits the, I don't know, it's like whatever east side of the building or not it doesn't matter um it went off five times in one day like last week oh man we only residents had... just keep exiting it they actually have used it so much the battery on the alarm doesn't work anymore <laughs> uh, so you just like occasionally hear like you gotta put up a sign where's the sign we do the whole door is covered in like things to say do not open alarm will set because people could we like put a bunch of stuff on us it's like you got 14 put, pieces of paper put some tape if it's, if it's anything i've learned from working at my job and putting up signs of telling people to do a certain thing which i want them to do instead of another thing which oh, they shouldn't be doing yeah, is that they don't pay attention to signs yeah See, our... We almost think some of them are like doing it on purpose because oh, when That's I like... went and did rounds, we went and turned off the alarm, did rounds super fast, and we got back, what is it, 13 minutes later and it was going off again. <laughs> just put some tape so up on the we, door. We think that they like are just like, listening for when it still. stops going off and then they go run, push it, and then run back in and then set it off again. Little do they know there's a security camera right yeah, next just, to those. Yeah, so. get, get the tapes back. And, and then, them. then just see if it is the same person. Do you, do you get to have the tapes? Or do you have that privilege? I, I do not. Oh my gosh, that it's is unfortunate. Like, it's like that uh, classic. That's the prank, bro. Where it's like you're like you're a little shit, and you go up to like an old man's doorstep, you ring their doorbell, oh. you run away, and then they open up the door, like get my line, you stupid kids. It's like that. That's what it yeah. reminded me of. Yeah. Oh, I had something to add to it, but I just completely. Oh yes, yes. Now I remember. That reminds me, like, cause, cause, like, just, just last semester, somebody had taken one of the handrails from our, uh, did like hallways, like stairway up, thing. So they they took that, and then they had to look at the tapes to see who did it. Oh, I I still know who did it, but they implemented new. Um, handrails. Ah, yes. Hmm. Yeah, we hmm. got a we got a whole hmm. we got a whole email about it. You're like, oh yeah, well we got the tape, so we're gonna we're gonna find out who stole it. You better turn yourself in beforehand, or you'll be in hey, bigger hey, troubles. Turns out it was you the entire time. No, no, it wasn't me. I wish it was me, but it wasn't. I wish I could look at the tapes, see who it was. Bless. But they probably don't go here anymore. They probably got expelled. <laughs> 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 well, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. It's great going into the back of the office and looking at the, the, the little paper list of, like, the do not allow in the building. It's like, oh, <laughs> <God."> <laughs> Wrecked. <laughs> That loser got expelled. I, I don't didn't. know if they got expelled, but they got barred from entering the building. <laughs> uh, they probably got expelled. Probably, if, if you're getting blacklisted, then you you probably got expelled. Well, some of them weren't even uh like like some of them were like like adults like like probably like thirty or something, and like it says like if you see this person, call the police because <laughs> they are not allowed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's that. I guess that's another. That's a different thing. <laughs> That's more concerning. Yes. Call like, the police? What did they do? I don't know, but it says if you see them in this building, call the police. <laughs> oh, man. You know, there's, not really, there's only you know, a small handful of them, but still. You know, just, you know, 
three or four or five of them that just occasionally walk in. Maybe that's for the people setting off the alarm. That's why you're not allowed to let them in. Very well, maybe. Oh man, I'm just burning through my textures folder. Is already almost two gigabytes. Only two? <laughs> is that wait? That's what two gigabytes? It's for for my like rendering and whatnot. Yeah. And you think that's a lot or a little? I mean, it's, uh, considering I don't have very many in there yet, it's kind of a bit. <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah, you've, you've already seen how much one video from for me takes okay okay we're talking textures we're not talking yeah you somehow having like the world's least efficient video <laughs> encoder <laughs> what do you mean 20 gigs is normal oh uh, it, it's yeah it's not the best um, is it riley is it not the best riley well i just I I'm not a tech guy i just put it to yeah, youtube and then it. and then have youtube render the video and then just re-download it and then it's like <laughs> You know, not even Have you a tried compression yet. If I try compressing it, the video gets splotchy. So okay, so that's why I don't do. Comp Go compress it more, and then then it won't do that anymore. Uh, no, I think it'd be even worse. To be honest, I think I think my computer might actually also under die. Under what grounds exactly? Under huh? the grounds of my Pokemon Sword Let's Play, every time I compress the video, you know, I'd get a splotchy splotchy things just throughout the video and like transitions All right. so those are some pretty convincing grounds what other grounds are there uh when i've stopped doing it it doesn't get splotchy okay i can accept those grounds it could be that i'm just using the free da vinci like the that, 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 could be, that could be impacting it a little bit yeah but you know i don't want to pay anything you know i'm already broke no, i don't want to pay anything either but... I'm already as broke as Sometimes you gotta do things which you don't uh, want to do. I was gonna test the software like my dad was recommending, and then I completely forgot to test it. Because he was gonna offer it for free. <laughs> then I completely forgot what the software was. Well, no, he had it on his computer. I was gonna try it out. I doubt if it was good, I might have ordered it. But only might have. If yeah. it turned out to be <laughs> bad... Then no way. Yeah, no way, Jose. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Absolutely crazy. Unacceptable. <laughs> um, 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 there we go. Um, 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 so wait, what exactly are you uh, texturing and and rendering? You said you wanted to make a uh, animation. Is that right? Yeah, I want to make like animated little short films in blender because i think that would be cool i kind of want to do that too a little bit now are you going to be posting these short films oh yeah oh yeah so so this is what your youtube pa page might be so, uh more than likely yeah so so i could link it to this podcast and then people could go see it like yeah like, a, like what's the time frame we talking like a year like a month a week uh, it, it'll probably be tomorrow uh, a couple Riley, months. animation <laughs> takes time. Yeah, well, I, I haven't I, even I, finished modeling the house yet. I didn't know how far along you were. That was I've the question. I've got the little character done, although I haven't done, I have to do another pass and add some details, but the character is nearly done. Um, the house is is not quite close to done, and then I have to model the, the area outside the house, and then I have to model the basement to the house, um, and then I have to animate it and then I have to render it, and the <laughs> rendering is going to take a really long oh, yeah. time because I'm going to have like 28k textures loaded in. Oh, my I'm also going to do volumetrics, which takes a long time, but I like volumetrics, why, so I'm doing them why anyways. Why 8k? Because that's the biggest quality they have, and I want to do 8k. Well, you should just start small and then work your way up. No, 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 8K. no. Oh, just 8k, 8k. Immediately See, 8k. I work with 1080, and my video is like, well. <laughs> Okay, don't you also have, like, world's oldest computer, or have you finally... No, no, I, I, I upgraded last year. I, I, didn't I tell you? I, I got the... I, I thought it was just the monitor. Oh, no, 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 the monitor was... <laughs> the monitor was changed, like, two years ago. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. the monitor was. It was... It, I got a new monitor for graduating high school. Ah. My dad's like, 
well, you already have a car, so what do you want? I'm like, well, you know, a nice monitor would be great. <laughs> oh. Yeah, my grandpa gave me his old car. So, I, you know, I had a pretty good graduation present. <laughs> I'd say. Yeah. You know, the cars only broke down, like, once. But apparently that was for my, my own problem, because I left one of the lights on and then they killed the battery. Yeah, Riley. Oh, so it didn't break down. The battery died. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I crashed Blender. Oops. <laughs> Whoops. I didn't. <laughs> You know, but that might change once I casually. start texturing these things. Casually. Oh yeah, I had a question, Cameron, on your on your blender here. Um, yeah. Why, why, why is Boxman Steve wearing a T-shirt with his logo of Boxman Steve on it? Because that's just the way Boxman Steve does his thing. <laughs> you okay. gonna question the semantics? Of Boxman yeah. Steve. Is he gonna have box hands? Why would he have box hands? Does he live hands? in a cardboard box? If he doesn't, he's a massive hypocrite. No, he's like a turtle, so he goes into his box. Riley, I hate to burst your bubble, but that box is his actual head. Well, the turtles, their shell is their actual shell. It's not a shell, that's just his head. <laughs> yeah, he just, he can fit his whole whole body inside his head. He can't though. It's it's a cool it's a cool box trick. <laughs> Riley, one of his can't first tricks. That. Quit, quit trying to add lore onto Boxman Steve, which doesn't exist. Does Boxman Steve? Does he have like Tupperware girlfriend? <laughs> Tupperware girlfriend? <laughs> nah. Oh, this, nah. is that her Boxman, name? Oh. Nah, nah. Boxman Steve doesn't have any Tupperware babes. He's oh. single. No, it's cardboard box. That would it'd be like car cardboard you box girlfriend. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, I don't even. How how would that even work? Um, uh, uh, uh that, that's a really good question. Uh, that's gonna have to be for Cameron to figure out. It's not my character. Their the U-Haul like is on their back. Oh, it's he's a not box. a he's not a cardboard box. Yeah, it's just a box. box. Yeah, not cardboard box, just box. So is it like yeah. a like a tin box or like um? Steel it looks box? it looks it's, wooden. It's it's an unknown material. Is it like a flesh box? So it's like oh, like warm <laughs> and like you can like I stick ugh. this around like you're like rubbing I guess your. On, oh my the I guess on the inside of the box, it would be pretty fleshy. If somebody cut the box, what would they see? Would it start bleeding? Mm. Probably it is his head. Oh, oh, that makes... Oh, oh. They can't cut the box. The box cuts you. Oh, man, I don't like this lore. I like the other lore I was coming up with. Riley, oh. you can't come up with head well, cannon. Well, if it's, a, if it's a cardboard box... Head <laughs> cannon? It's hard was cardboard. <laughs> the uh, rain would just, like, collapse his skull. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, I guess the rain would would make his just his... get some water. Like, oh, oh my god! <laughs> Terrible showers. Oh, but guys, it's okay because his box head is made out of a very hard material. Yes, bones. It's not bones. Really glue. It's harder. Than gorilla bones. glue. <laughs> oh. It's harder than gorilla glue. It's flex harder seal. than gorilla glue. Flex yeah. seal. It's harder than flex. Holy crud! It's harder than flex. You've got adamantium for a head. Jeez. Jesus. It may be even harder than that. Thing. Man. You can't, it can't be harder than adamantium. That's just OP at that point. His, his head yeah, can go through straight head. sun. <laughs> I mean, you don't know what Boxman Steve does in his free time. <laughs> I don't either. He goes to the sun he, and just dips his head in it? Nah, nah, I can tell you what he does in his free time. He goes clubbing. Clubbing like like, you do golfing, not or... not dance clubbing. Oh, he dance! Likes to dance. Like every other week, he goes to a dance club just to, you know, bring it down. Uh, bring what down? Like the dance club? Like he's an undercover cop? Bring, bring down, <laughs> bring down his moves. 
he shows up the dance clubs to bust his moves. What what's right. his classical move set? You're busted. Get on the ground. Well, uh, there's the good old fashioned box head spin. The box head spin. Yeah, um, he just like uh stands straight on his head and it just spins around really really fast on his head. Oh, that is that would be something to see. Wait, so is Boxman like? Does his family have box heads as well? Uh, he's actually adopted. Uh, nobody uh, knows where Boxman Steve came from. He just kind of exists. So, does he have hair, or <laughs> Riley <laughs> does it look see, like he has hair? I don't know. Like, I can't see the top of his head. Maybe he's got tiny hair on top. <laughs> Riley, Boxman could, Steve is one hundred percent bald. I can imagine him going to a wig store, and the person's like, "Oh man, I I don't know if you have any wigs that'll fit you." And then they put like an not, afro not, on him. No, no, he's proud of his baldness. Yeah. He's proud of his box headedness. Well, uh, it's what unique. makes him definitely him. Unique. Yeah. You know? Okay. Understand. It's what makes Boxman Steve Boxman Steve. Man. Yeah, so you guys you guys sound like you you've been busy. I have not been busy. <laughs> Trust me, Riley, I've not been busy at all. You guys have been doing Boxman Steve and Rendering Riley, stuff. Boxman Steve is from a long time ago. <laughs> like, months ago. <laughs> months ago? Oh. Yeah, in fact, I'm probably going to make a new Boxman Steve model once I get better at Blender. Oh. Yeah, I tried doing some rendering with... with um... <laughs> I brought, like, I made a Triforce thing for the first Legend of Zelda. I brought the Triforce together. It was uh, I remember that. It was a nine second clip that took like three hours to make. <laughs> it was very uh, a rip. very tedious time. <laughs> but it, it worked out. Did I what? Did you use cycles to render it? I don't think the rendering was the issue. I think his computer was just Oh issue. yeah, it was the old computer. Oh so Oh you should have started with that. It, yeah, it was the old computer. I was I trying to make them to spin, and yeah. I was trying to get them symmetrical. And if there's one thing that I'm terrible at, it's symmetry. Symmetry. Yeah, I try eyeballing a lot of things, and oh, I should really measure it out. Yeah, let's see. All I've been doing was was playing Fire Red. Good old fun Nuzlocke challenge. I guess Pokemon Fire Red. I don't know if yeah, you... I have no yeah. idea. What that is. <laughs> I guess I should have clarified. That's all I've been really doing for for my free time. I guess I've been school's been hectic. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Online school is so much fun. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, all the teachers know what they're doing. Oh, and they're uh, so yep. good at it. Oh. oh, yeah. So great. So great. Uh, and, my, and my favorite part is the paying of full tuition. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, one of the benefits of online. You still have to pay the same thing as if you were going. Uh, as if I'm, as if I was doing nothing. I'm paying for like a sh crappy Zoom call. Yeah. Uh, it'll be a uh, three thousand dollars, please. Mm. Yeah, yeah. How else are they going to get the money? College, though. Oh yeah, they they take they take you for everything. <laughs> You walk in thinking, ah, this will be great. And then you walk out and you're like, oh, shoot. <laughs> my kidney's gone. <laughs> oh, I lost both my, my kidneys. Oh, my God, I'm in immense debt. Yeah, think about going to a casino and you have like $10 and you say, okay, I'm not going to spend any more than this $10. And then you come I'm out and you have <laughs> you have like an IOU for like $10,000. $10,000. So now, now you own a lot. And then you go back in the next year with the $10. And you do it for four years. <laughs> you do this four times. Yeah. Um, You'd think he'd learn, but no, the student returns again. <laughs> oh, that'd be a great show. Uh, Look at this dumb sack of rocks. <laughs> uh, Look at him praying that he gets a job. Oh, that, okay, that, I finally that. fixed my issue here. I just noticed Boxman Steve doesn't have a nose. Yeah. Your point. 
I, I just said. I, no, I just is, noticed. Is he is is Boxman aware that he can't smell cheeseburgers anymore? No, nah, no, nah, he Maybe. smells through his box skin. Oh, That's disturbing! So the box skin. So he does have skin. The box skin smells everything. Yeah, but the box skin is extremely durable. So it's a durable smelling machine. Yeah. Man, our noses are not. What will science come up with next? <laughs> slug man. Yeah. He's Riley, part slug, part man. We don't talk about slug man in these parts, okay? Who's slug man? You Should know, I know about him? Yeah, so you when you're... You, know, when you're you don't sh- want to know about slug man. <laughs> when you're walking. I, I, right? I kind of want to know. You're making me kind of intriguing. <laughs> when you're walking, no. right? Um, as a slime, or not slime, slug, you produce this ooze that trails you. So if you're shuffling yeah. your feet, you have like an ooze trail. But if you lift up your Riley. feet... Riley, uh, that's not slug man. That's snail man. Snail man's cool. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. But then slug who's slug man? man? You don't want to know, man. You, you don't want to know. The oh, slug oh does slug, is slug man the one without legs and arms? Mm. No, that's a different slug man. The oh. slug man I'm talking about. <laughs> you don't you want to get involved with him. You don't even want to know oh. like okay. what that slug man's up to. It'd be really he's really easy to run away from, but like once he catches you, <sighs> yeah, you've been slugged. Yeah, by Sluggy the Slug Man. You just got slugged. <laughs> 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 That is his catchphrase. Oh. He, he just he runs up to you, douses you in sludge, and then runs away. Sludge? You get sludge. slime. Ooh, 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 uh, errors. Ooh. Errors? Errors. Uh. Oh, man. Wait, so... Oh, that window does not look right. So what exactly are you animating? I guess you told us a house and a person. Uh, one sec. Gotta what's, undo. Please what's have, like a, the, please have enough undos. What's the, yes. what's the general theme, I guess. Uh, so the general theme is humanity has been uh extinct. No, it's worse. Um, <laughs> it's not it's extinct. Worse. How was that? Was they've, being a what? They've all. Everyone has been transplanted into robotic bodies, but they still have their like human minds. Um. And they, they're essentially oh, all uh, the 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 s. It starts with an s. Single singularium. Is that it? Singularity. Something like that. Is that what you're going for? Mm-hmm. You know when the robots, like the robot uprising, when humans transferred to uh, the human. Oh Earth. no no! It's more dark than that. Um. So it oh. doesn't really necessarily have a happy ending, but <laughs> basically humanity is all they've all been put into robotic bodies and then they're all basically um uh, they're all hooked up with like a power cable <laughs> and if they just obey if they disobey they get their power cable unplugged and they oh die my and they're gosh. all slaves this is and dark robots they can just work robot, forever man. Is this going to be part of, like, an expanded universe? Oh, oh I do actually have plans of making, like, all of the animated things. They'll all be different, and I'll try something, like, different with all of them. But they're all going to be kind of generally in the same universe. Or not generally, they'll all be kind of in the same universe, and so it'll just kind of slowly build. Oh, man. I see. So it's basically this robot guy that, like is trying to create his own source of energy to unplug from the system. Oh, man. What, he's trying, what a storyline. He's, like. he's trying to collapse. I, I realized, unfortunately, that it's kind of similar to, like, a Pixar short that was made a couple years back. Oh. Um, but, like, mine is, like, I was like, well, you know, mine's kind of, like... Mine is edgy. Movie. But what's it called? I still want to... I want to I wanna see a visualization of this. The Pixar and then what you're going to call yours as well. Uh, let's see what's the Pixar one. Um, let me search it up quick. Of, uh, uh, I'm not telling you. No, yeah, I don't want to be sued. Scroll. You know when I come up with an idea of as close as them. But no, that I, I like that idea. Thank you. And then like, cool. So oh. this is the the one the short that I realized it's kind of similar to. Uh, TLDR: These two oh. little worker robots shovel coal all day, basically. 
or uh, like future space coal. Um, space coal. And they realize that they can put these little power things on them to like take their little tether cords off. Oh, um, interesting. Mine's a bit darker and authoritarian. Yeah, you, you were guys trying to collapse the system. No, he's just trying to escape. <laughs> I'm no, trying he's to not even, he's, how he's not want. even going to vigilantism. He's well, just a single part of it. I want to decide. I'm just trying to decide if he like if it just ends when he powers himself. Um, if he doesn't succeed in powering himself. Or if he powers himself and then he the authorities come and murder him. Oh jeez. Um I'm still trying to decide. Um but I also You don't want to... this guy to have a happy ending, do you? It's not really supposed to be happy, no, because I'm gonna have um like I'm I'm kind of working the story is that in future ones um when I eventually figure out how to model and animate people, um is gonna be that it turns out that the people in power actually aren't in uh robots they're just people oh and so then because because essentially everyone else is just like enslaved permanently because you know they can just be a robot forever yeah i guess enslaved Um, would be worse than extinct yeah because it's it's not like you know at least if you're a human slave eventually you grow old and die but they're inside you know a machine (laughs) so they're just kind of maintained forever yeah and if you ever Uh, need voices it's like a hierarchy story yeah, I like I like me yeah. some hierarchy stories. If you need voices, I would I would be be able I, to get I, I This one at the very least is gonna have no voices because those are difficult. But I am making all the noises myself with like my toolboxes and my RC servos. Ah, you turn on your three D printer. I turn <laughs> that that would make some good robot noises. <laughs> Got to make those robot noises. Beep, it doesn't sound quite as beepy as it does over Discord, but I'll ch- I'll record it over Discord for you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's recorded with the current audio quality that I'm getting from you. Well, it's go be back to the terrible, <laughs> go back to the terrible audio. We'll record it, and then you just you just fix it in post. Just do the post stuff, you know. You fix it in post, yeah. You you yeah, it. just always fix it in post. If <laughs> if you listen back to the other podcast, uh, were you here last time, Max? Uh, yeah, I think you were. I'm pretty sure he was here for every podcast. Yeah, I think I think us three haven't missed a single podcast. Go us three. I've missed a couple D and D's, but I know yeah. I haven't missed any of the podcasts or D and D's. I haven't missed either, <laughs> as well. Riley, if you missed a D and D, there would be no D. There would be no D. <laughs> We'd all miss the D. I'd have no choice but to miss the D and D. You'd ruin my perfect record. Oh, <laughs> uh, but. What was I saying? Oh, yes, yes. If you go back and listen to the podcast, I had to create so that Austin, you know, didn't biff up people's last names. I, I went over the names and said generic name. So it was Mr. <laughs> generic name. And it was just me awkwardly saying that. <laughs> I had to do that like three or four times in there. Why? It's because you guys were giving names away. Oh my oh, gosh. Oh, we were like saying people's real names. Yes. Oh. Oh, sorry. Jesus. You want me to do it more? No. I'd have to. Are you sure you don't want some editing practice? I, I have my editing practice. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want some more editing practice? My goodness. I don't need more. Oh. You never say never. You always can use more. Hey, Riley, how I, I could you can. be as good of an editor as me otherwise? I'm an okay editor. I like editing, but I don't. You're all great I don't editing. add extra stuff in, which some people you don't like. like. You don't like. Weak. I've you added a like. template to my Pokemon. That's that's probably oh. the biggest uh, editing I've done, so that you see my Sounds what Pokemon right. I have. <laughs> well, I'm just doing the gameplay. I don't know what else to really add. You can add some cool effects. No, for comedic value, you know. I uh, I added some like like my excuse stuff. me princess in the thrall <laughs> video. Well, it's just me speaking, and I think I'm normal, you know. I don't. <laughs> I listen back to myself. I'm like, yeah, he's completely normal, normal here. Are you normal? No, actually, I listen back to it. I'm like, what the crud did you just say? I had to re-listen <laughs> to it. I'm like, oh, yep, 
You Riley, that describes hundreds. like half of everything you say ever. <laughs> hey, I am a genius when it comes to words Ow. and speaking. Yeah, of course, of course you. Yeah, you're, I bring you're topics really good with words. I bring Actually, topics we're all up really good with words. Quite high. Fair point. You know, I just bring the conversation from a measly three to a measly four. There you go. But, yeah, because everyone's wondering <laughs> what's going through your. <laughs> Everybody head. just stops and like, it's like, what the heck did you just say? I don't understand. Does not compute. Are you just an idiot, or do you have a like? Are 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 you dumb? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. How could you tell? I, I don't yes, know. Yes, on which one though? Yes, <laughs> that one. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Indubitably. <laughs> That is not okay. On um, both accounts. Well, so yeah, keep us updated on your your shorts. I, well, uh, your animated shorts. Let's let's keep. <laughs> yeah. Shameless plug. <laughs> yes, let's go. I mean, yeah. I gotta start shilling it as much as I can. Oh. Uh, yeah, you could finally be featured in the featured channels list. Yeah, it'd be so great. Uh, but Riley, why do you say that like it wouldn't be so? Uh, what? <laughs> I, like, wow, he's yeah. already <laughs> jealous of my skills. Wow, I see. Yeah. Um, I like, I yeah, was, yeah, I was, it'd be so great. I was yeah. like slightly yawning, so I'm sorry if that sounded. I'm sorry if that sounded. Uh, I'm deeply uh, offended. Uh, uh, <laughs> But no, I, yeah, it does sound quite interesting, and I am excited for it. I'm excited for it, too. You, you stopped giving us updates on your 3D printing, so... Which 3D printing? You were doing your chair servo thing, and then... Oh, yeah, so it turns out that motor was not nearly powerful enough. Like, <laughs> like we're talking, like, we weren't even, like, <laughs> within eyesight of the ballpark range. <laughs> So um, you print, see, 3D printed a bunch of chairs for no reason. You printed no, 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 the chairs? Be, no, no, I was going to initially print... Um, I'm trying to remember how it all went. So I was going to print an attachment to go on my chair for the dorm so that I could drive it around like a motorized wheelchair. <laughs> um, and then I was like, you okay, know, does. that's kind of hard, and it's a lot of strain on the plastic. Let's let's do a trial run, and let's try and 3D print like motorized roller skates and see if we can get that to work. And I actually did 3D print them fully and like had a little gearbox thing and whatnot. Um, you just got to make sure they and, withstand uh, the weight. It, they, they could withstand the weight. Um, okay. So I did learn that from it. Uh, and then the motors were like... Extremely far from working. The motors just died. The yeah. motors didn't uh, have the power to push. Yeah, I've upgraded things and learned things since, so I could probably you could probably get it working. It would be really chair. slow, but I could probably. Get it. I do have a, a skateboard, electric skateboard that I've been working on. Just that a, did I'm, work, just, I'm just about you doing your rounds in this <laughs> motorized chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it probably makes the most terrible noise. So just throughout oh, the night, it would, the gearbox would be so nasty. <laughs> the people are like, "What is this? You have to do this for like April first. He says, April Fools, guys! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be great. That yeah. would be beautiful. Cameron, what are you going to do in Blender? Oh, I said a name. You're going to have to edit that out, Riley. <laughs> yeah. no, You're welcome. Fine. No, we're all fine. Wow. Unless Cameron does what his name. My, my identity has been doxxed. Just say, what's doxxed mean? I, I've never... Under it's when you it's when you leak somebody's personal. Yeah, but but shit. what's what's that's that's another um, acronym. What does it stand for? Oh, oh, is it an acronym? Let me Google it. I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's just not doxed meant doxed. Maybe I've just been an idiot. Maybe maybe it's not. Dox. Oh, search for and publish private. Or identifying information about a particular individual on the internet, typically with malicious intent. Oh, I don't see it okay. defined as it's defined as a verb. So it's it not is like... not an acronym. 
Not from what I can see. Yeah. But there is also a Google Docs. Which well, is this is D O C. This is D O X. Yes, but it's pronounced D O X. It's spelt D O X. No, no, like Google Docs. I'm laughing so hard right now. <laughs> yeah, if you add an S at the end of it. Yeah. Hmm. I'm I'm glad. Glad we cleared that up. Yeah, yeah. But just saying, I probably I probably doxed a lot of people <laughs> in my my live streams alone, <laughs> if not my videos. Uh, uh, it's not like someone's gonna like. I don't know who this guy I, I know in name. college named Carl Swenzer. Uh, yes. What an asshole! <laughs> I hate that. Guy. I never speak. I never speak ill of the people that I talk about. But, yeah. It just slips out because I, I just think of it as common knowledge. Now, now this Billy Django guy on the Billy other hand. Billy Django. Real cool dude. Here's his, his personal email is um, Billy Django is awesome <laughs> at yahoo.com. His <laughs> yes, phone Yahoo number email. is 123 1234. Uh, area code so, uh, 754. Yeah. Can't that area yeah, code. man. And uh, his address is. Um, Three seven five six direct lane. Direct lane. So I wish that was know, my address. Sure to, so cool. So you know, make sure to like, you know, spam him with all sorts of texts. Make sure to hit that like button if you want to get more on, on on what is his name? Billy Gorgas. What's it? What was his name? Billy Gorgas. <laughs> I, <don't, laughs> I don't remember his name. Remember. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember his name, but yeah, let's go with Billy Corgis. Oh. Yeah, let's go with Billy Corgis, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't remember what the name was, but... I think it was Billy that's, something. That's what, it was Billy something. You remember, Max? It was Billy Corgis. Ah, oh, yes, okay, of course, yes. See, I was, <laughs> I was right. <laughs> oh. Man. Yeah, we gotta we gotta start thinking up some some more games to play for the group channel. Or I, I gotta well, I gotta start editing the next one. Yeah, keep talking. Nobody explodes. Oh well, yeah, I wasn't gonna say it because I would just give it away instantly. Well, you can censor it. I ah, know it's fine. I don't. That's a lot of extra ex, extra ex, extra. Holy shit! Hey, who knows? Someone who has get off the podcast and then figures it out. Yeah, who knows? I think somebody actually listens to the podcast. There's there's actually a few views What's on the newest one. Hmm. Well, actually, I I did like tell Isaac about the channel. Or oh. Like he said, he was gonna try like, try like spreading the word or whatever. <laughs> like, uh, like our podcast right, cool. is yeah. one of the best, one of the best podcasts. Oh uh, yeah, uh, that's the word I would. You get to top describe. quality we'll content. Big soon. You, you get the top quality content of just a oh, bunch of friends talking about random things. Me completely laughing over nothing. Yeah, mostly not, like what are we talking about? We we had a topic that we're starting with. I don't even remember if we talked about it. It was acronyms. Acronyms. We we oh yeah we, we went down we went down a rabbit hole of Eminem and then classical rappers. You know, that happened. As you do. Yeah, exactly. See, this is the content everybody's asking for. People were wondering what is it that we need. It's yeah, obviously I know it's the content I'm asking it's for. It's it's obviously uh-huh. <laughs> the the rendering the 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 amazing college stories that we pretty much all have. Uh, and and then there's there's something else. Yeah, it is about all that stuff you just said. Yeah, I don't remember half the things I just said. That's how great my memory is. I don't remember half the things I just said. That's how great my memory is. is <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Homemade audio effects. <laughs> that's that's gonna be the new jingle. It'll just jingle. be that. They don't even know what our old jingle is. Wait, we had an old jingle. What do you mean? The it's I still use that jingle right at the start of the podcast. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. the do 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 do. Yeah, they, they don't know the lyricized version of. Oh like yeah, they don't know the lyrics. Oh yeah, my yeah. gosh, because we never finished it yet. I I showed 
my my sister like I made her listen to it and she was laughing the whole time and she said Riley that's terrible I'm like oh <laughs> but what your lyrics to the thing well yeah just in general I, I'm pretty much terrible at singing um, if in case you didn't know yeah but yeah, I, I thought I went well with with the audio and and uh, she was laughing the whole time saying it was terrible but she liked it so you know it's nice to know. She, you have her support to an extent. To an extent, yeah. She she it's she just thought it was funny years. and she wanted me to use it. So, because she likes laughing at me. Yeah, I just like that episode. She doesn't <laughs> like laughing with me. She, she likes, likes laughing, laughing at me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. So, what would this look like if I smooth it out? Ooh, that looks weird. I don't like. Boxman becomes a circle head. No, Riley. I'm not on the Boxman's model. Yeah. Oh. I'm, I'm I'm on the weapons model. Oh, the weapons. Yes. We didn't talk about the weapons in the podcast. Jeez, what is this? I scrolled up and there's a giant. What, Max? What did you do? What is this? What? Why is it pointing at me? You're scaring oh. me. What, what? I scrolled up, and you just have a weapon there pointing right at me. Oh, yeah. That's something <laughs> I, I'm actually getting paid to model some weapons for a game. Oh, That's geez. one of them that I made. I finished it this week, almost. Man, you know, things that... Wait, can you say the name of the game? Yeah, I want to. Yeah, it, it's, it's, a uh, it's called Project Wraith. It's... Oh. I don't really know much about it. If I just if it's called Project, then that's probably not the official, you know. like the final name. But, yeah, yeah, I don't know. But I was in a Discord and some guy was like, "Hey, you," because I was modeling like a couple of like old World War II guns <laughs> for fun, and he's like, "That looks cool. <laughs> Make some for it." Weapon? Where's this weapon you're it's talking above about? Above Boxman. Yeah, above Boxman uh, and below your weapons. It's an MPK5. Deepers. He's got so much skill. Oh, uh, I'm, that. Not, I'm not worried. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> yeah, I think he put it in, and then I got distracted by Boxman. I didn't hey, even notice you were, that. You were talking about modeling guns. That, that was probably around the time you put uh, that up. It was, actually. Yeah, this was all before the podcast started, so. Good old podcast viewer or listeners. Do you call them viewers or listeners? Or both? Why not both? Okay. Yeah, the podcast viewers slash listeners um, did not see that. That window texture good. I think it's good. Oh man, yeah, I should get back. Ooh, I think it's Holy not. Jesus! <laughs> the best window I've ever modeled. Damn. Oh yeah. Are you saying it's better than Mac? Yeah, anything's <laughs> better than Mac. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And my dad likes Mac, and every time he says, oh, you should use a Mac, I'm like, well, nope, it's not Windows. Uh, I don't engineering like Engineering that goes into a Mac, it's like it's like a child banged its head on a table, and they're like, oh, it's a, it's a brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Put the 3.67 cl clock chip pin right next to the 24-volt backlight pin. pin. Oh. It's like a special <laughs> chip that, like, basically is like the timing clock for the entire laptop on like the new MacBooks, and on the circuit board, it's literally right next to the pin that is 24 volts that powers the screen. And so, if you get even the tiniest bit of moisture in there, it just arcs and absolutely fries the computer <laughs> to a crisp, and then the whole thing is just done. Uh, I heard somewhere that the only upside to a Mac is that you don't have to upgrade it; you just buy a new one. <laughs> Ha ha ha! Because uh, Apple products are expensive. They're so expensive. Uh, computers in general are just expensive. Yeah. Well, at least with Windows, no, I don't have to pay for an upgrade. For an upgrade. I, I didn't have to pay for Windows key either. <laughs> okay. You know, or you... I just don't activate Windows. I just live with the watermark. Oh. You know. Please activate Windows now. Eh. Why? <laughs> Well, I pay money when I don't need to. Am I right? Oh god, oh god. I think I have Windows I activated. I just don't have any of like the Word docs or Excel or any of that. Oh yeah, Microsoft Office. Yeah. <laughs> I like it, but 
I, well, why would I pay for it though when I could just use Google Docs? That's true. It's hard to edit pictures though in in uh, Google Docs. I normally edit pictures in like this oh, Word yeah. document, but now I've swapped. You edit pictures yeah, in Word. Yeah, I I've edited pictures in oh. Word, but I've swapped I, to I Paint. have Net. I have Photoshop now, so I don't need to edit pictures in Word. Yeah, I you, have access to Photoshop, but I find I just use Paint instead because I'm like, eh, <laughs> yes, I I, I use extra. I could just use Paint. I use Paint dot net. It's great. It's free. Microsoft oh, Paint paired with the the Windows Windows Shift S snippet. Oh yeah, it is so powerful. It is <laughs> just like, just the snipping tool in general. Room. It's so good. The snipping tool is amazing. It is. I also, I also abuse Discord. I have my own <laughs> personal Discord server that I only use for copy pasting things between my devices. So I'll be like, oh, <laughs> oh yeah, me too. On my phone. I want that I, picture I, on my I computer. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I that. do that too. <laughs> That's genius. I have to transfer my sketches to like digital drawing somehow, and I don't have a scanner yet, so. No, that's I'm just gonna have to take pictures. You don't even need the scanner. Camera. You just use the yeah. You just if well, I, I guess, want yeah, be better, better detail in my pictures, and the scanner would be preferable. Well, just saying because pictures like on when a, I'm scaling up really the good. image twofold and it's all pixelated and stuff, it's kind of hard to see the outlines. That's true. Of course, you can no, just right. zoom in very far and then take two pictures or four pictures or how many pictures no, you need. No, no, Riley, and then just absolutely not. Hustle piece them together. <laughs> no, no, that sounds horrible, and I'm never going to do that. <laughs> We're going to sit down here. So how's how's 2021 treating everybody? You know, new year, pretty good, new amazing um, stuff. I've been watching wall street bets and loving every second of it wall street bets oh you haven't heard no no i haven't or are you talking about the gamestop thing the gets yeah, the gamestop <laughs> thing, yeah. oh i've yeah, slightly heard, heard about it. it but i don't know the, the whole thing basically <laughs> funny uh funny internet people are causing rich people to lose ungodly amounts of money <laughs> for no reason because they they absolutely screwed themselves That's by doing some dumb stock things that they should not have been doing great that naturally that sounds like rich people stuff all right yeah dealing with stocks stock oh yeah it's all oh. Actually, yeah, uh, I feel like this is a good opportunity to uh, bring up, like, probably the first story I plan on writing. I finally, I think I finally decided on which of my many story ideas I'm going to start out with. Like, the main premise is, like, it focuses on this group of circus performers. And they're trying to become, like, a big-time, worldwide sensation circus. No, that's the basic okay. plot. That's, that's the premise. But, but along the way of their journeys, <laughs> they wind up getting themselves mixed into all kinds of hijinks. Like pretty much right out the right out the gate, you no, know, the main character who's like the ringleader of the circus, uh, he gets himself like involved in a ton of debt to provide funding for the circus, like. Oh. All the members of the circus get paid like at a fixed wage of twenty dollars because he can't afford to pay them an actual good wage. So like, yeah. I plan on having there be this moment where it's like, okay, guys, you're about to get a raise. They're like, holy shit, that he added thirty bucks. <laughs> okay, okay pay the full fifty. Thirty whole dollar. I got the two dollar bill. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I'm trying to think you. of like so are you all doing, the characters in you what? Doing this in Blender or were you gonna go is, with like a comic idea? It's gonna be a comic. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking model like giant well, circuses. I just had to ask you, we've been talking about Blender all day. Yeah. We have. Man, I'm still trying to remember the story of Oven Man. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, Oven Man. Good old Oven I Man. I forgot about Oven Man. <laughs> One of my finest crea- creations. Who's you're not. Man? You're not wrong. Oven Man <laughs> is probably your finest creation. You don't know who Oven Man is, Max? I have no clue. I'm pretty sure he wasn't, he wasn't there for that. He knows about Snapper Joe, but not. You Oven don't. Man. You know. You know about Snapper Joe, but not Oven Man. Who's yeah, Snapper he was. The, he was. You, okay, wait, well. you don't know who Snapper Joe is? Oh, that's even worse. Is this something yeah. I should remember? Okay. Do you not remember, like, whenever I drew character bases and I had you guys <laughs> assign me a character, like okay. in high school at the lunch table? Do you really not remember that? It's great. Uh, I I don't know. My artistic skills really shine through. But no, okay, Snapper Joe, get this, is is a kid in pajamas, mm-hmm. right? And always yeah, walks around. baseball cap and fire eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And every time he snaps, it, like he snaps fire. Hmm. Yeah. Great idea, right? Yeah. So it's like <laughs> a fire mutant from Marvel. No, no, the, only when he snaps. And he's not a mutant. He's a regular Joe. Yes, yeah, that's he's... power. That's just what he can do. Yeah, yeah. And he always wears pajamas because he's. He's that chill. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yes, good old Snapper Joe. <laughs> and then let's see, Oven Man was a cook that like something happened to him, and then he started traveling the world with his cooking knowledge, and I think yeah. fought crime with like. Uh, he fought pans. against he fought against the evil cooks. Oh with his, yes, like the Andy Dandy ladle and frying I, pan. I combo. think I think he was face f- facing off somebody like named Spoons or something. Doctor Spoon. Yeah, Doctor Spoon. He's turning all those forks <laughs> into spoons. Anyone who listens to this podcast will have no idea what we're talking about. That's that's why I'm explaining what the it. Hell? <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. it's an uh, an average explanation of the mindset of myself and a bit of me too yes yes i think you I was involved there you, too. you fleshed out the ideas like i'd pop something off and you're like uh how about counter example you, you mentioned something and i brought up something not as bad <laughs> not as no. bad <laughs> uh, decimated oh <laughs> oh that's, that is that is how our dynamic works. Eight yeah, nine, I I'm okay with that. You know, if I have the base work and then people do the final work, that's good enough for me. Oh no, I did a big goof. Oh uh, no, I'm gonna have to redo all of that. <laughs> this is tragic. It is. You have to fix everything. Well, I just have to redo this top part. But oh man. Wait, so are you going to do, like, hand-drawn comics, or do you plan on doing it digitized? I made it, boys. You oh, made only it! two and a half hours late. Uh, no, yeah, only an hour. hour. <laughs> only an hour and uh, a bit late. But to answer your question, Riley, uh, I, I'm i going to do sketches by hand, and then I'm going to transfer it digitally. That's oh, the okay. reason I want a scanner. Gotcha. The scanner can't be too much. But the <laughs> setup is You'd probably be surprised. You'd be surprised. The setup's probably terrible. Yeah, probably probably takes up a lot of space. So hi Gavin, how you doing? I'm good, Mr. Robot. Welcome Shh. Don't don't tell everybody <laughs> I'm a robot. It's fine. I'm recording audio off a different mic. I've had a terrible week, okay? <laughs> My computer okay. hates me. Uh, yeah. Okay, quote unquote. Riley, <laughs> quote unquote, not robot. I'm not a robot. I'm a real. Yeah, sorry, I was busy with very important stuff. Sounds mm. like a busy person. It's okay. I'm also busy with very important stuff. I am not as busy and not busy. Get busy, Riley. I, Come on. Okay, tomorrow's my full edit day. I'll be busy editing stuff tomorrow. Yay, mm. edit. Mm. Yeah, I'm probably going to try fixing my computer tomorrow. So that'll be a blast. From the past. 
Mm. Yeah. You didn't really well, you missed you missed an hour of us talking about interesting ideas. Mm. Yeah. You did. It's just the three of us, so you know what, you're still doing better than two other people. Mm. So what would you like to add to our to our uh conversation? <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> that that was quite the quite the good. Mm -hmm. was... I don't know. What are you talking about? Uh, so, uh, we actually did get off of a bit of a tangent that Max apparently doesn't remember when I forced you guys to design characters <laughs> whenever I could think of any designs. I didn't Max create some? He created a few. Oh, didn't he create like, like, like a... he actually created like a variant, like a counterpart to Snapper Joe, if you can believe it. <laughs> Wait, is that the uh, where it was like the the anime esque, like the one piece of paper had like all the different designs on it? Yeah. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> very, very vaguely. Oh, snap! Oh, yeah, it's all coming back now. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> The epiphany hit. <laughs> yeah, you, you also. Oh, sorry, my memory is very fuzzy when you, you also go back. Make, like that weird freaking like bobblehead thing. I don't remember what you called it. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Like, let me yeah. see if I can find that picture. If you have a picture of something from high school, that is impressive because I remember very little. Got plenty of pictures too blurry. from my amazing drawings. I've got the the bird in a bird suit. Portfolio. It might be in here. Let me see if I can find my amazing photos as well. Oh, geez, that's frightening. Uh... Looking at you know, these old pictures I drew when I was like eight. It's really sinking in, like, just how much I've improved as an artist. <laughs> what is this? Oh, sorry, I, I'll share it. Oh. <laughs> this is great. What a great photo. See, this is the best part about an audio podcast, when people just look at photos. <laughs> oh, that's, that's everyone's favorite part. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is a great photo which you can't see. Yeah, that'd be. Oh, if only you guys could see it right now, you'd be laughing so hard. <laughs> <laughs> a work of truth. Oh, <laughs> I completely <laughs> forgot I had you guys do that. Oh. <laughs> a work of true art. What I have the photo under is called Derp Mecca. Oh, that's great. Yeah, like, like. Like, I asked you guys to, like, draw a weird, derpy version of me, and, and like, instead of just, like, just doing that, you guys just, like, just drew a weird, derpy version of whatever reference photo I sent you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, these photos are great. Well, I remember, I, I saved some photos uh, from, from well, what, Cameron drew, based off the photo that I drew and whatnot. Oh yeah, oh, I have yeah, no that, clue. That, that, was, that was a fun. That was, that's a fun thing to oh, do. We, we got to do more of those. I I don't know if you drew this or if Austin drew this. I have, to, I have it as written as you drew it, but but it's about Austin. So you know what? I'll put that in the chat as well. I think you drew it though. No, that was me. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I don't remember the context of this. <laughs> I don't know. I, was going I think <laughs> I think it was a Scriblio uh, draw. It was either Scriblio oh or a Scriblio. broken picture phone. But I decided to use. You oh and my gosh! Yeah, we should play broken, broken picture phone, phone again. Should do that. We should. <laughs> I completely <laughs> forgot I did this. Gavin, do, do you want to play some broken picture phone sometime? Yeah, Gavin. Gavin, welcome yeah, to the podcast. Like broken picture phone. Yeah, Gavin, we can we can record broken picture phone for our our channel. We could. It's a genius idea. Gavin, Gavin, can you even hear me? Yeah. Are you trying to ignore me? No, you're very quiet. 
what? so I kind of didn't hear you. Why am I quiet? Oh. Uh, Did you turn it loud on me? You just no, just when when you were asking me the question, you were really quiet. Oh, like I said, I've <laughs> I've had some computer issues. Um, mm -hmm. Sorry, I was looking at another photo. <laughs> I have so much stacks of drawings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. There's a list of characters I drew for Yeti Mountain. Oh, Yeti Mountain. Mm -hmm. It's great. It is great. Oh man. Okay. Well, we should probably start wrapping up the podcast, anyways. What? Uh, we're gonna be wrapping up the podcast. Boy, it's still going. Yes. That's what oh, I, said. I would have actually been talking if I knew it was still going. Huh? We said it would have been humming the whole damn time. I know. I was so confused. I said, "What do you want to add to the podcast?" And you said nothing. No, you said, "What do you want to add to our conversation?" Oh, yes, I guess I did say that. But I said welcome to the podcast oh, when right, you joined it. I knew it. It's fine. It's fine. You want you want to add something to the podcast then? We were just talking about drawings. Like I I don't have any drawings to share, so I guess I can't add anything. Oh, you've got all those scribblios. Do I? Well, you Does I, I guess I do. They're, probably they're somewhere. On your, they're on your YouTubes. Oh, uh, yes. Scriblio. It's a fun game. Fun game? Fun, fun to play, fun but not to eat. Me. You guys yeah, actually who's eating want, Scri you guys <laughs> want to play some Scriblio or Book Nature after the podcast is over? Oh. Once the podcast is over, I have to go to bed. Oh, and then, wow. Well, work in Blender a little bit more and then go to bed. We'll have to just schedule a time. Alright. Well, why can't it just be me, you, and Gavin, then? Well, I guess it could be us three as well. Better with more people, though. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's let's end the podcast here, then. Let's let's say our goodbyes. Bye! <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Well, we, we haven't came up with the, the, the topic for the next time, but... Max, get on that. What's our next week's... What's our next week's uh, topic? Uh, our next week's topic is going to be Altoids tins because that's what's sitting in front of Altoids. me. Altoids. Oh, I like those things. That died. Altoids. Altoids. Cool. That's some interesting. You can make stories. a speaker out of them. Uh, I've seen someone put a Wii inside of one. Well, we'll save for. Uh, <laughs> we'll save for the next thing. Okay, we'll save for next Alrighty. time. Okay, should we just cut the goodbyes again, or do we want to say it goodbye. again? Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.